All right, so before you go crazy and upload all kinds of beats, uh, let me show you two modes of uploading. One is manual and one is auto populate. Let me show you what I mean. When you go, uh, I'm going to show you some existing beats I uploaded. This is, uh, I have auto populate on. What that means is when I upload a beat, it will automatically add um, the MP3 on all the licenses automatically. If I have it turned off, it'll just upload a demo beat that you can hear on the beat store, but then you have to upload a, uh, a file for each license separately. Um, the reason why some people do that uh, manual is because they have different uh, qualities of MP3, perhaps, or um, Usually what, what happens is the, um, they, they upload a zip file instead of a, a music or a, a music file and they have different things in there, uh, little extras, exclusive. Maybe they have a, a video or um, extra files, whatever. Uh, this is why they would use manual mode. But if you're not interested in all of that and you just want to upload a beat and have every beat on each license, then you want to have the auto pop auto populate on. Now it is on by default, but let me show you where that's at. Go to your settings and go to auto populate. And um, it's right here. What I'm going to do is uncheck it. So right now um, it automatically loads every license with the MP3, but I'm going to uncheck it for now. I'm going to click update. And I'm going to show you what it looks like when I upload a beat on manual mode. Okay, so I'm going to upload. I'm going to go to upload, upload beats and manage, add new beat, choose a file. I'm going to choose sample. Hit OK. Upload. I'm just going to leave it. Uh, I'm going to leave the sample text on there. And uh, I'm going to click on manage beats. Now, that's it. Um, it didn't load any of these licenses. It just added a sample track. So if I go to the player, refresh the page, um, you'll see that I have um, just a sample, which is just birds. <laughs> I'm gonna pause that. You get, you get what I'm saying? There's no price or anything. I have to manually go in and add um, files on here, whether it be zips or an MP3, uh, whatever. Now I'm going to show you what it is with it off. What I'm going to do is go to my settings, auto populate, and I'm going to go ahead and turn back on the, um, the auto upload of everything. So I'm going to update. So you go to my dashboard, I'm going to upload. And I'm basically going to repeat the process with the same file. Choose file, sample, upload, manage beats. Okay, so see what it did? Now it automatically added an MP3 to every license that I have. This is what most people are going to do. But I just wanted to show you what it looks like with the auto, auto populate off and also the auto populate on. So something to consider.